guys so this style is literally so cute so easy and I literally just thought about it like when I was sitting down I'm like wait I really want fitting braids but my hair type is really hard to work with so let me just try this let me try something new and I literally came up with this in like five minutes and now I'm trying it and now I'm recording it to show it to show it to you guys so um basically what you want to do is go ahead and part your hair as you normally would for like a braid like a regular braid um, so yeah go ahead and do that part your hair really well try as best you can to make the lines as visible as you can and then go ahead and then braid uh, make try to do something that will make your hair flat anything that will make your hair flat whether if it's whether it's a twist a flat twist or a braid anything that will make that um, that braid flat is going to work really really well you will see later how it comes out like how everything comes out together but yeah basically go ahead and just like make that braid as flat as possible add some gel if you need to and you can see like around my forehead I have like gel around there that's um I was just wearing a wig so like the glue is giving me a hard time to come off but yeah make sure your hair is moisturized I just put in I just put conditioner in my hair and um, some flat twist conditioner so make sure you moisturize your hair before you start this process so go ahead and braid all the way down or twist all the way down whatever method that you're using to make the braid flat just go ahead and do that now what you want to do is get some braiding hair grab some braiding hair I would you uh, I would recommend pre-stretched braiding hair it's gonna work really well it's gonna help a lot because it gets kind of messy so yeah take your crochet hook and what you're gonna do is start as if you're doing um, pick out the hair as if you're doing a feeding braid basically so you start small and then you add more hair as you go so go ahead and insert your hook into your braid at the very very beginning try to be as accurate as possible now take the hair you know as you can see what I just did um, and then the first three strings you want to tie them that way they're secured in the braid and they're not gonna like come out so the first three strings you want to um, tie them like in a, a small knot if you can just do it once or twice but I did it once so go ahead and do that so go ahead again and add another strand just like that and do the tie again like I said the first few ones you want to tie them that way they're secure and do it again for the third one and you're just gonna continue doing this until you get all the way to the bottom um, as you go you want to make the strand bigger like add more hair to it as if you were doing a feeding braid so as you can see that's what it looks like um, so I tie I knotted like the first four I think so yeah and then go ahead and um, continue adding hair this time you don't have to um, you do not have to knot it uh, so as you go down just add more hair and you're gonna notice at the end that I kind of um, I had some gaps I missed some parts so I, w I did go back and add more hair when I um, saw that I had missed some um, spots so there were like a lot of gaps in between you don't want too much gaps in between you want to make sure the um, the bundles I mean the strands are as close as possible so go ahead and do that continue all the way down and remember just to keep adding um, a bigger strand as you go so as you can see right here I'm about to miss like a huge huge gap so I did go back there and I added more hair back there so yeah just make sure that you're very careful and you um you don't have a lot of gaps in between because it won't look good so yeah after you're done with this what you're gonna do is literally start braiding as if you are braiding like your regular hair but you want to be careful not to pull too much because you don't want to pull the string out remember it's not the back one the front ones are knotted but the other ones aren't so you want to be very careful and um, be gentle with it but make sure your braid is tight at the root um, so yeah basically you're just gonna go ahead and braid all the way down as if you were braiding your own hair and this will literally give give you that um, feeding braid look 
without having to struggle with like 4C hair because I really struggle trying to do like cornrows with my 4C hair like sometimes it just it doesn't look good my hair sticks out and it's just not cute so this method I just came up with is literally so helpful I'm gonna call this method the Nadia method because honey it's cute ha. And it's very convenient and it's very protective. So you guys let me know in the comments if you're going to try this. So yeah, basically go ahead and continue on um, braiding down as you can see. And um, if you want to add in some hair, you can also add in some hair as if you were doing a feeding braid. You know how you add hair as you're doing a feeding braid. You can go ahead and do that if you want to. That works as well. So it's up to you. So go ahead and keep braiding down. And don't worry about the sides because as you go down, the braid does get bigger. And it hides the uh, your, the real braid of your hair under the, um, the extensions. So it does hide it as you go down. So don't worry about, um, about that. Um, also, just make sure, like I said, make sure you're not having a lot of gaps in between the strands because that does have a big effect on the hairstyle. So, yes, guys, continue on braiding down. As you can see, it's coming out so, so good. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this. Like, I can't believe I came up with this. I was like, what? <sighs> oh, I love it. 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 So as you can see, like the braid was kind of small, so I did kind of like go back and I added more hair towards the end, and it did make the um the braid a little bit bigger. So yes, guys, oh I love this hair. I love this hairstyle so much. You guys really let me know what you guys think in the comments because yes. So you're gonna go ahead and just braid regularly, braid all the way down, make the hair as long as you want, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna do this last one for you guys on camera, and um, yeah, you guys, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if this was cute, let me know if it was helpful, let me know if it's convenient, and it definitely, definitely takes less time than doing a regular like feed and braid it might look like it's a lot of steps but trust me it's fast like it's actually really really fast so yeah um thank you guys so much for being here thank you for watching let me know what you guys let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts in the comments
right guys it's 6 a.m i did this took me like one hour and a half but yeah i'm done now the next day um the braids came out so so cute i love it i love it i love it if you're gonna try this please let me know how it went and i kind of oh the um the edge control left so much so so much um residue on my hair but that's okay i'll clean that up but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i love this it's so cute i hope you guys took something from this learned something if you did make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace